Okay, so look. Now we got another Birdman video, son. And you wanna know what's crazy, though? Oh, shoot. My bad, I didn't mean to do that. You know what's crazy? As soon as I got on recording, like, another Birdman video, like, before I seen this one, I had already seen this man had another one from here. This, this one of uh, passenger fat shamed on an airplane. What happens to Nathan Shocking? I seen this one from here. Y'all see it right here. Right here from here. So we finna go on and react to this. So I'm gonna get this out of the way. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a quick flight to Oakland, so buckle up, relax, and we'll be taking off shortly. Before, I remember she got used to be fake because I had already seen the video, so it'll be a fake reaction. Excuse me. Yeah? Hi, I'm sitting there. No, absolutely not. There's no way you're sitting next to me. But excuse me. Hi. Excuse me, miss. Do you mind? You can't blame me for not wanting to sit next to her. I'm not trying to get suffocated. Look, she needs her own row, not just to see. Let her sit there. Unfortunately, we do have a full flight today. And there are no available seats, so you'll just have to move so she can sit. I also don't mind taking the aisle if you want, so I don't bother you in case- You're already bothering me. I'm not giving you my seat, too. Ma'am, I was perfectly happy listening to my music, reading my magazine, and you ruined it. I ain't gonna get mad at her because you stole her spot. Right? Let's get off my plane. Sorry about that. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay, so she's gonna be the one to check the fat shame her the entire plane. I said the entire plane. The entire flight. I wouldn't even want to sit by her. Man, why does flat keep flying in front of my camera? Wait. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I'm Janice. I don't care what your name is. Just leave me alone. Why would you try to talk to her? Why? Do you not like flying? It's not when I'm getting squished to death by the person next to me. You just like, do you like getting roasted, my boy? No. Of course. Thank you. If it's not flying, why are you stressed? If you have to know, I have an interview with the California head of retail at Ulta, Mark Rober. He's a very important person, so I'm trying to relax beforehand. And you're not helping. Sorry, folks. We're waiting on just one more passenger. Just a couple more minutes before we take off. Better this with these actors. But she got air pods in. How are you still hearing me chew? You're supposed to be listening to music. Can you stop crunching? Oh, I... Didn't realize you could hear me. With how loud you're crunching, I'm pretty sure the pilot can hear you. Come on, bro. She ain't even crunching that loud. Chill out. Why are you even eating chips anyway? Because I'm hungry. Listen, take my advice. Try a protein bar like me. Maybe if you did, you wouldn't look like that. You really shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Whatever. I just don't want to hear any more crunching. Portable charger from my bag? Absolutely. The fasten seatbelt sign isn't on yet. Thanks. Alright, no worries. I know what's gonna happen. She's gonna try to get. She's gonna try to get over, right? And she's gonna be talking about some, ooh, get off me, you're too big. <laughs> my bad, Diana. What now? Sorry. I need to get my bag to get a phone charger. Do you mind moving? Yes, I mind moving. What do you even need your phone for anyway? We're about to take off. I'm meeting someone, and I need to find out where they are. Well, that sucks. I'm sure whoever you're meeting isn't that important anyway. Why would you say that? I mean, come on. Isn't it obvious? People like you are lazy and don't get anywhere in life. You probably spend all your time sitting on your couch eating potato chips and collecting welfare checks. You think you have the right to relax while living off the tax dollars of hardworking people like me. Your tax dollar? Is she mad because she not Why is she getting mad because she not fat? You want to be fat, just say that. Didn't you say you were looking for a job? 
doesn't mean I'm unemployed. I'm a junior manager at a food chain, but unlike you, I'm trying to get ahead in life. This interview would be huge for me. If I got this job, I'd be a senior manager. You know, bro, okay, first of all, you're talking about a regular, normal-ass job, my guy. Chill out. And I bet since, since what happens next is shocking, she probably have a way better job than you. You over here talking about, I don't know what job you talking about. You're working at. Get off me! I am as far away as I can be from you. Well, then maybe next time you should buy two seats instead of one so you don't have to inconvenience the person next to you. It only stings because you know what I said is true. No. It's not true. You don't know anything about me or what I go through. I hate girls like it. I hate girls that are so puss and cry. What are you crying for? Nigga can punch her in the face. You let her talk to you like that? But yeah, we both get sacrificed off this airplane. I'll get to you don't flight. even know what I went through before getting on this plane. What are you talking about? You seemed fine. I might have been smiling on the outside. But I have been dying on the inside. You see? I is. You see? Why? Why don't every Why don't every doorman video when anybody explains something? They always tell us something. You see? You see? Well, you see. They always start off like that, like talk normal, like stop saying it. I've been this size for as long as I can remember, but that doesn't stop people from judging me. Everywhere I go, they stare and they make mean comments. That's why I avoid going to public places. While the staring and the comments hurt, the hardest thing of all is when people don't want to sit next to me. They treat me as if I have some infectious disease. That's why today, as I got on this flight, I prayed to have an empty seat next to me just so I didn't have to go through the judgment and the humiliation. But of course, my worst fear came true. So you see, you have no idea. First of all, you ain't going to do nothing. You going to do what every other fat person go through still to this day in school. You get fat shame. Why are you crying? What I go through or how much I struggle. That's why I don't need your judgment. Hey, I'm just playing. I'm just judgment joking. too. Oh my gosh. Actually expect me to feel bad for you. Hey, you wanna know what's crazy? I knew she was gonna pull that bullshit. I was thinking it in my head she was gonna act like she cared, but then again try to fuck <laughs> Oh my gosh. Actually expect me to feel bad for you? Well, newsflash, I don't. The biggest struggle you have is probably getting your pants on in the morning. Now, for the rest wow. of the flight, I don't care if you need your phone charger. I don't care if you need to use the restroom. I don't care if the plane is on fire. Just leave me alone. Flight attendants, please return to your seat. Our last passenger is boarded. Hey, guys. Bro, is that girl even grown? She's like a little kid. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, Janice, there you are. Well, if I was going to miss the flight, I, I did text you, though. Did, did you get it? No, because my phone died. Yeah, that makes sense. I okay, think I'm sitting... Yeah, I'm sitting right there. Hey, empty seat. You want to join me? Oh, my gosh. Yes, please do that so I can finally breathe. That would be great. Well, I can't believe I almost didn't make it. Come on. By the way, who did you say the interview was with? You're going to like this one. Mm -hmm. She had a great resume, and she was highly recommended. I think she's going to be fine. Rolls in a bit. You see her rolls right in. Uh, Rachel. It is uh, Rachel. Then you must be Rachel. This is Mark Rober, the head of California Retail at Ulta. I believe this is who you're interviewing with. You're Rachel Dobson. Ah, what a coincidence. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Uh, what a small world. <laughs> I was just telling your assistant how excited I am for this opportunity. Assistant? Janice, you didn't tell her? Uh, she's the head of U.S. Retail. And um, she's my boss since this was a senior manager. She ain't fired. She ain't hiring her. Of a interview, she was uh, she was nice enough to join me. So unlike what you said about me earlier, I actually do have a job and a pretty good one at that. 
So, no, I don't just sit around my couch all day eating potato chips and collecting welfare checks. Oh my gosh, you didn't think I was serious about that, did you? <laughs> I was just kidding. I, I actually, I would love to have you sit next to me. You can even have the aisle seat if you want. And didn't you say you need a phone charger? I think I have one in my bag. Save it. No need to be fake nice. I know everything I need to know about you. And we won't be hiring her. Agreed. <laughs> Instead, we can get lunch at that time. Because all I like to do is eat. Maybe next time, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. You know, it's crazy. She probably flew on an airplane for no reason. Sorry, miss. Yes. It's okay if I get off this flight. I no longer need to go to Oakland. I'm sorry, but the doors have already been closed. And from what I hear, flights back to LA are getting canceled due to the weather. So you may be stuck a while. Now, if you'll please take a seat. This is unbelievable! She's gonna be stuck up there. <laughs> She's gonna be stuck up there a while. That's crazy. Yeah, man, don't fetch shame nobody, man. Don't judge the book by its cover. It's a shocking part. 